Hi, my name is Breeze. I am a year seven and eight teacher and I've been teaching at the Nathan Park School for five years. Kia ora, my name is Min Jin Lee. I am a year five and six teacher at Finlayson Park School. This is also my fifth year at the school. My classroom is a multicultural environment. I have a diverse range of kids in terms of learning levels, behaviour, personality, cultures. So yeah, it's interesting, but in a good way. Sometimes a challenge too is that they know too much and they know more than I do. <laughs> and so <laughs> they actually are pushing me and teaching me new things. So like me being a younger teacher, I'm like, oh, you know, I can pick up things really quickly, which I can, but then the kids do it even more so. I started uh, using the digital passport um, to get a better understanding of what the digital curriculum is about and then using some of the files that are available on there to teach it to the kids in my classroom. So I was quite hesitant of joining in the Mind Lab because I was thinking that it's all about teaching you how to use digital tools, but actually um, it also included the digital curriculum, um, a lot of collaboration work. Because I, I didn't want to do it by myself and I wanted people to just have that support. Obviously not going to uni for five years and teaching, you're kind of like, can I handle the workload by myself? So we did the Mind Lab uh, course together as a group. Um, so there were four teachers in the group and we started off with the Zoom and because it was during the COVID um, time, it was all online. And for our collaboration, we also do our own Zoom meeting. What my lab did for me is it helped me to understand different ways that I could approach the situation. We looked at different teaching methods, styles that could support our children who are less capable on digital devices. I think my lab also helped me to think a bit more critically about my teaching because we had to reflect a lot on leadership and so I wasn't thinking as critically in my planning about oh what impact could this have, how could I change my teaching style to better suit the kids, I just taught how I taught. My lessons are more purposeful so I'm thinking more about the end result or I'm thinking more about what benefits they're going to get out of it, not what success I feel I'm going to get out of it because they made something. So this is also student agency which is something that we have learnt uh, during the Mind Lab. It's thinking outside the box, it is thinking about how they can extend themselves. So we're there to facilitate the lesson rather than um, directing what they need to do, so for them to explore. It's a journey, it's still a process, the kids are not used to it. I'm still figuring out how to teach it. We're not just teaching knowledge all the time, it's making it more purposeful. Even if I was talking to myself nine months ago, I would say just don't be afraid, it's okay, you're going to have the support that you need, so just push yourself, take a risk, tell our kids to take risks every day, yet we don't do it ourselves. Whakapono ki a koe, believing in yourself and go for it. Just grateful for the experience, I guess. Um, happy we did it. We achieved something <laughs> together.